Black Identity Extremist. That's the label an internal report by the FBI's Counterterrorism Division is giving to black activists around the country. The report says they pose a growing threat of premeditated violence against law enforcement in response to police brutality. Former government officials and legal experts say no such movement exists and this is an attempt by the FBI and the Donald Trump administration to find an equivalent threat to white supremacists and silence black activists. Joining us now by phone from Washington is the article's co-author, Sharon Weinberger, Foreign Policy Magazine's executive editor for News. Sharon, um, his was interesting. Earlier this year, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't federal officials say white supremacists pose a greater threat to Americans than ISIS? Yes, well, there was an FBI report that um, came out in May that we at Foreign Policy obtained and published later that said that there were more attacks in terms of the number of attacks by white supremacist groups than by any other extremist group in the United States, including those linked to the Islamic State or what be it. Um, so it was talking about the number of attacks. This was really a growing problem that the FBI observed. Um, so, you know, there, there have been elements within the FBI that, that were very concerned about white supremacists. And what's interesting here is this is the FBI. This, first of all, show me the evidence. Show me the evidence where black identity extremists are leading these attacks against law enforcement when the reality is, and we've, we've done the stories and the numbers, law enforcement has been, they've been killed by more white folks than anybody else in America. Well, that's Exactly. I mean, but when we took this report to, you know, uh, some dozen people to include former DHS and former FBI people, you know, we honestly expected a couple former government people to be like, oh, well, actually, that's not so crazy. It's a continuation of this report or that report. And everyone looked at that terminology, every single person we spoke with. And even though there were variations of opinions, everyone said that's shocking. There, there's simply no such thing as a black identity extremist movement. It would be like linking militias and white supremacists and the guy in Las Vegas and calling them white, uh, you know, white identity extremists. It makes no sense. It has no basis in reality. And frankly, it's racist. This, this, this report to me sounds eerily familiar to what J. Edgar Hoover oh. did by using wiretaps and doing so approved by Robert Kennedy, approved by President Lyndon Baines Johnson and others when they targeted Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., when they wiretapped his hotel rooms, when they wiretapped his friends' phones, when they went after the Black Panthers, when they went after the Deacons of Defense, I can go down the line uh, and list the various organizations that the FBI targeted. This is, uh, again, following the footsteps of J. Edgar Hoover. I think that is it. When we interviewed um, particularly academics who had looked at years of FBI surveillance of African American Afri of Af African American activists of writers in the 1960s and 1970s what they said was so similar was that the FBI very deep in the FBI's DNA was this belief that activism radicalism was somehow linked to a violent ideology so maybe in the last century it was linked to communism and now it's the belief that somehow people are linked that inherently violent um, it, it, it's just a weird designation. It's weird to assume um, that somehow there's an underlying violent ideology. The cases they cite in the report of violence are very disparate. There's no evidence of a movement. It's just very, it, it's very sloppy methodology in terms of what's going on in politics. It just doesn't work. And what we have, and again, we're talking about the FBI here. This is an internal report. Are there, now, have they said, are there any plans to release this? Well, we effectively released it. It was, um, it's an official use only report, so it's not classified. So the FBI purposely does not release these to the public. They go out to local and national law enforcement. Um, John Winter, my colleague, was able to obtain a copy of it. And so we released it because we think it's important that the public see this, that they see what's going on. Um, this is obviously an official designation that the FBI is using to monitor what they believe is a violent movement. Um, people have the right to judge for themselves. All right, Sharon, we surely appreciate it. Thank you so very much.
Thank you. Uh, I want to go a panel here. This, what, you, what you're seeing here, what you're seeing here is Donald Trump's administration mm -hmm. and Jeff Sessions mm -hmm. desiring to target black people. Desiring. They're doing it, Roland. That's what they're doing. They are targeting black people. They are alienating and dividing this country in more and more ways. You've already gone through the facts, and I have been on your show, Roland, where you have explained to people multiple times that there are myths about black people that do not exist. And now you have the KKK, Dylan Roof. You have the, they, they killed uh, Edward Crawford in St. Louis. They killed all these folks, and, and they are not the ones who are on the FBI list. But you have folks who are identifying as black identity extremists, which I have not, listen, Roland, I piss people off just in case. I hold extreme religious values and extreme beliefs about my black identity. If that makes me a black extremist, what do you want me to do? They, and, and it's mm. crazy that they would, they would put you on a list to then have permission to target you. They're not trying to do anything, Roland. This is his strategic plan to destroy our movement, and he's doing it step by step. First with the NFL and ESPN, and now he's doing a Black Lives Matter directly. All right, folks, hold tight one second. I'm going to come back and talk about this in our next block. All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, we're talking about, uh, of course, the black identity extremists by the FBI, Tiffany Lofton, George Terrell, Wendy Osefo. Folks, so I'm reading Nick Cott's book, Judgment Days, mm. oh, okay. which is about the relationship between uh, MLK and uh, LBJ. And so y'all get a shot of a book right here. First of all, phenomenal book, came out about 13 years ago. And he details, get a shot, get a shot, there you go, all right. So he, he <laughs> details, Cott's details, again, the passage of the Voting Rights Act, Civil Rights Act, Fair Housing Act, uh, Vietnam and King. But he does talk about, again, J. Edgar Hoover and how he said King was the biggest threat to America. Black Panthers, Deacons of Defense, greatest threat to America. And I keep telling people what we are in the middle of is a 30-year war. Mm -hmm. What we're dealing with mm -hmm. are white Americans who have always pushed back on black advancement. Uh, we saw this in the 60s. We saw even just a year after the Voting Rights Act where uh, the numbers dropped. Well, okay, y'all gotten too much. Donald Trump, his FBI, they are appealing mm -hmm. to white fear, George. I don't think white people are buying this. Let me tell you why. I was in the park this weekend with my daughter, Sunday and I'm in the park. And they're not buying what? They're not buying I don't, what? Think, they're, I don't think they're buying that blacks are as dangerous as the media's been playing. And let me tell you As why. the media? Did, did Richard Spencer just well, not have another let me finish march? my point. <laughs> the media I'm in the park. is wrong. Go ahead, Joey. I'm in the park. Children, all races, all ages. And the most suspicious person in the park was a white guy on an Apple computer with no children. I'm looking at him like he may fire on somebody because whites have been the most dangerous people to blacks in America for the last 30 years, and whites are now picking up because of Vegas. Now we're looking at white people as suspicious criminals, and I'm not looking so at George, the guy with the dress George, as a suspicious George, person. George, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Um, I, if the FBI report, the now, FBI all of a sudden, report now all of a sudden says black identity extremists, when there's the no fact, such George, thing, when and the nobody's fact, buying it. So if there's no... When they go ahead, Lord Jesus, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. No, 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 no excuse me, George, George, George. The report Hold not on. for you. The when they go ahead, exactly. Wendy. I'm not no, buying no, it. The report, exactly. The report is not for you. The report is to feed into the identity politics that has been going on. The name in itself says Black Identity, well, which means. No, hold on. Let me finish. Go ahead, Wendy. Go ahead, Wendy. Any time in history. Excuse me. Wendy, Wendy, one second. Reclaiming my time. One second. One second. Reclaiming my time. Wendy, Wendy, George, hold on. Wendy, go ahead. Go ahead. I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So basically what we're witnessing here is anyone who is conscious, anyone who is woke, anyone who is aware, they are an extremist. That's what they're saying. Do I need to bring up Brother Fred Hampton? Do I need to start naming names of how the government has systematically eliminated and killed black people who have tried to awaken the masses of well, other black people? So Tiffany, one, one second, one second, one second. George, hold on. Tiffany, 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 one second. Tiffany, 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 I got this. I got this. Tiffany, George, this is no. what it said. Spurred by the 1967 riots, the FBI initiated a new counterintelligence program, which it captioned it. Black Nationalist Hate Groups. They list the purpose of this new counterintelligence endeavor is to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the activities of Black Nationalist hate type organizations and groupings, their leadership, spokesmen, membership, and supporters, and to counter their propensity for violence and civil disorder. The original targets, SNCC, yep. mm -hmm. CORE, yep. Nation of Islam, 
<laughs> Revolutionary Action Movement, Deacons of the, for Defense and Justice, and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Abs the Southern Anybody Christian so, Christian Leadership so Conference. So I am reading a report, George, that they, that, no, no, 50 years 50 ago. 50 years ago. That 50 years ago. That this report, Roland. Tiffany, mirrors. Roland, right. let's be very clear. America has a history of allowing Thanks. permissible protests I'm when it doesn't hurt. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm Tiffany, go ahead. When, when it is permissible, when it doesn't hurt anybody, and when it's not a threat to white supremacy. But as soon as you step up, and as soon as you challenge money, as soon as you speak truth to power, as soon as people start to rise up, this is when you have the largest attack. Now, Roland, let me tell you something. George, I don't know how he self-identifies, but he looks to me like a black man. So his perspective and how he perceives this cannot, you cannot speak on behalf of, of I, but you are speaking I'm, on behalf I'm of not, white people. I'm not and speaking, I don't know why I'm you're speaking, speaking on behalf of, of black people. people. Thank you. White people are scared of, behalf, of all of us on this panel. White people are scared of me. Yes, I don't know why. You're scared of me. Hold on. I think they're scared of other white people in Vegas right now. Your show, your show speaks truth to power every single time. Truth to power. You are the power. Every single Stop time. speaking as if you're not the power. George, you are the George, power. George, when you become the power, people aren't scared of you. They accept you. You need to accept yourself as the power and not about? speaking truth to power. This is the problem. The power, you are the power. This is you the keep problem. looking at yourself George, as a second class George, citizen. You're not George, second class. George, Look at George, yourself as a George, part of America. If that's the, the American George, you oh, one second, one second. George, if that's the case, when a black man was in power for eight years, that's right. guess who opposed him? Don't, that, your your power line, there. now hold, he hold on, there. he got there, no, and, 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 you. your, and your party said on the first night inauguration, we would do everything to limit him and to guess one what? term. He is very successful. Eight days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.